Welcome to the International Space Station. This is Mission Control. Before you meet the crew and get your first assignment, you'll need to get oriented with your tablet. Take a look at your tablet, and I'll walk you through its functions. The first section displays your tasks. The current task is displayed in white, and under the title is a brief description of the task. Check out your inventory. This section contains a list of things you have in your personal stowage area. Just remember, you have a limited amount of space. Select an item to see more information about it. Open the map. An indicator shows your position in the station and a list of accessible modules. Selecting a module or label the Patches section shows you all of your accomplishments and other patches you can earn. Now that you're familiar with your tablet, you'll need to learn to navigate the station. Put your tablet away. Navigate out the node and into the U.S. Laboratory module. When you reach the middle of the module, stop. Oops, you went too far. Just remember, you can always back up. Look up and down. Now look right and left. Next, see if you can spin yourself. Great job. You're ready for your first assignment. Find your fellow astronaut, Naomi. She'll give you instructions from here. Good luck, and enjoy your stay on the International Space Station. Mission Control, out.
I'm so glad you're here. I could really use your help setting up this plant growth facility. This facility produces fresh vegetables and other plants on the ISS in order to provide food. It's also a platform for the advancement of agriculture as a component of life support. I've uploaded the plant growth procedures to your tablet. Why don't you get started while I inspect the plant enclosure? Check back with me after you complete each task. Hi, have you watched the videos yet? They're on the laptops in the lab. Hi, have you watched the videos yet? They're on the laptops in the lab. Plants are very attuned to the environment and the force of gravity. When you water plants, gravity pulls the water into the soil and roots absorb what is needed. The sun provides energy through a process called photosynthesis. Plants even respond to the force of gravity. This is called gravitropism. But when plants are grown in space, many things change. In microgravity, you can't pour water into the soil. Because of surface tension, the water stays on the surface of the soil and the plant dries out. If water is put directly on the roots, it surrounds them and they drown. To solve this, Scientists develop special plant pillows and space dirt to distribute and hold water and air for the root system. The lack of air circulation in microgravity can cause plants to suffocate. To fix this, they are grown in special containers with fans and filters. By learning about how plants adapt to microgravity, 
scientists gain insights into ways to improve life on Earth. I hope you enjoyed learning about plant research in space. Can you gather the plant pillows we'll need for the experiment? The more varieties you gather, the more types of plants we can grow. Haven't found any yet? Try all the stowage bags. They're all over the station. <laughs>